Drama at the phone hacking trial. A reporter turned witness tells the court, I hacked phones at the Sunday Mirror and Andy Coulson knew when he gave me a job at the News of the World. Actor Jude Law in his most awkward role yet, he hears in court how a close relative had allegedly sold family secrets to the tabloids. Good evening. A full day of portrayal at the hacking trial. A former reporter turned witness detailed how he was hired by Chief Defendant Andy Coulson precisely because he could, quote, screw phones, something he perfected at the Sunday Mirror. How will the Mirror Group cope with these new allegations? Also tonight. Betrayal courtesy of Mother Nature. Large parts of Somerset are turned into a lake while the Environment Secretary is drowning in recriminations from the wet and angry. Five years after the Great Recession, RBS, the bank that's owned by you and me, the taxpayer, continues to bleed money. It revealed today that it's setting aside another three billion pounds for damages and fines. We asked the bank's top man if there's more to come. And why has Russia got it in for the gay community? The country that's about to host the Winter Olympics is looking forward to the prime time of world attention, but its treatment of gays belongs to a distant era. I think that homosexuality is one of the sins, and uh, a moral state should say, this is a sin, this is, a, this is not correct. Bright lights, big city, London draws the young like a magnet. So do other cities need to up their game? How can they stop the capital sucking the economic lifeblood out of the rest of the country? We debate the divide with Blackpool pop singer Little Boots. And as a senior Al-Shabaab commander is killed in an American missile attack, we get the latest from our Africa reporter Jamal Osman, live from Nairobi.